Holy guacamole, shout out to this guy who only went and won himself a copy of March of the Eagles. Congratulations, you now have no good luck for the rest of your life. Boy, oh boy, welcome back to some Hearts of Iron 4. And today we're going to see just how many mods we can get away with before the game breaks into oblivion. Hearts of Iron has one of the most active modding communities with some high-end mods that really do even compete with the base game itself. But but really, we don't want to be playing that trash. We want to play the real good stuff. But quickly before we do that, I just need to give a big shout out to something. If you didn't know, I was testing out Gleam by giving away a copy of March of the Eagles because I actually have not one, but two, but three, but four copies of Hearts of Iron 4 to give away. Originally, I was just going to give them away randomly on my Discord, but I felt it was a bit cheap just because I always give away free codes in there when I have them. So I thought I'd just open it up to all of YouTube. So I've got four copies. It's Gleam again, link in the description. To enter, all you need to be is subscribe to my channel, obviously. You can get an extra entry if you want to follow me on Twitter or Twitch or whatever. And boy, if you already have Hearts of Iron, maybe don't enter and let someone else have a chance of getting it. But of course, I'm, I'm not going to stop you. I can't stop you. That's, that's unfortunately the realisation. But yeah, enter while you can. I won't be doing any other giveaways. I just had four copies that I bought a while ago that I was going to give away over Christmas. But I never had the chance since I was away and I didn't stream. So we're just going to do it now. And I'm not going to turn into fucking Dove or I entering gift card giveaways. Oh boy, what a peculiar world we've been dropped into. But what... What exactly is peculiar about this? I, I don't know. Germany and, and a country that we should not be named being switched around? That that sure is peculiar. Um, scratch his head. Something seems to be a little off here, but I can't exactly put my finger on exactly what that might be. Hmm, scratch his head emoji. Peculiar. In a world this crazy and bonkers, there's only one country we can really play as. Sweden! <laughs> Silly allies, of course I can sell stuff to Germany because I'm neutral! Ah oh, yeah, the country colour change in mod. Should we, should we let the AI? Apparently that makes it really bad. How bad can it really be if we let the AI pick their own colours? Oh, it's, it's, a bit, it's a bit laggy. Oh, oh! Oh my fucking god! Well, this is nice. This, this, is, this, is, a, this is a good start. This is... This is a real good start, I think. Well, I guess I need to pick my own colour and fuck it. Why not? Russian. The famous colour, Russian. AKA green. Oh, fuck a mod that gives Sweden a focus tree. Already that makes the game broken, because who's that interested in Sweden, am I right? Pukes into Fedora. I ain't 100% sure about this journey, but how did you remilitarize the Rhineland when that's Israeli-occupied territory? Are you trying to tell me? that you've been doing some funny business with the Jews. Oh, what me, Sweden, doing some democrat- Of course I'm doing democratic stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and democratically elect the fascists. Come on, guys, I'm Sweden! See, piece of piss, they took it upon themselves pretty damn quickly to get the fascists in charge, and boy, industrial expansion to electric boogaloo we go! Oh no, that press censorship means that my famous Swedish fedora's gonna be g Oh, what am I gonna puke into now? Oh, there you go, that'll do. Oh, it's nice to see Spain settling its differences in a good old civil war to decide who exactly is the better shade of fucking dirt. Communists? I don't think so, not on my border, Stalin, you're going- Oh, sorry, not Stalin. Joseph Swollen! Uh, recruit manager 17. Hmm, I feel like we can get that lower. I really appreciate how three of the Chinas all decided to pick the same colour. That way it makes it real easy to distinguish exactly who's who in this world. Considering everyone's a shade of fucking black or red, it's gonna be easy! Hmm, something peculiar is happening over here in the United States of America. Something very peculiar indeed. Why, it seems the case of the peculiar peculiars is getting more peculiar by the day. Now we've got two peculiars making big peculiar moves all over the peculiar United States of America. Ah, oh, Finland refuses Sweden's demands, eh? Well, I'm sorry, Finland, because your name seems to be an error there because it's East Sweden. Ah, oh, Mussolini, always helping a good cause in the world. You know, Sweden reconquering Finland or East Sweden and, you know, that deal in Ethiopia. I just got a, a peculiar idea indeed. If I just delete my entire army, that means that I'm able to conscript 
children into the art. I'm a fucking genius. Really? That really, there's there's a fucking mod for this. This it. Really? Ah, oh, with the new addition of children to the army, they're easily able to run around the finish lines with their superior child legs and outnumber the Finns and encircle them incredibly quickly. Just look at those fuckers go! They're high on Sunny D. Ah, oh, Finland refuses my some hands for. Well. I'm sorry, Finland, but we're already at war. But I just declared double war. When I declared double war. You may be asking yourself, did the game crash? Maybe. But don't worry, I was expecting a crash that corrupted the save on top of that, and I'm going to be back where I s why what the hell has happened to the map? Why 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 what why do why were all these cancerous growths growing all over the fucking world that oh my god My channel's finally had an effect on the game Oh there's one peculiar mystery solved Turkey was mi I can't believe I forgot Turkey was missing. Boy, I hope there's no other peculiar mysteries that have popped up on the map now that Turkey's back. Other than the cancerous growth, that is. I, I, I can't see anything different with the map, honestly. It, other than that. Heck, this went okay last time, all right. We're, we're going to go ahead and let the AI choose their colors again. In. Yep, it looks like it's going to be as terrible as last time. Uh, what colour do I want to be though? Ah, Sweden blue. That sounds like a great colour. Look at... I just got a random red streak. Oh look, the Olympics. Ah, and a fascist coup d'etat. I wonder what else could top the Swedish news to... Ah, of course, a civil war for fascism. Hello, Agony Aunt. I'd just like to know, is it gay if I touch my Japanese tip onto the Korean Peninsula tip? Just asking for a friend. Ah, this time around it appears that Finland actually just gave up this province instead of war, but that might be because they're a copycat and they've stolen my colour. Although it does reaffirm my point about it being East Sweden if they've copied the Sweden blue colour. Oh, reject my demands now, do you, Finland? Well, don't worry, I'm gonna go medieval. M medieval on your... Oh, God. You see, the trick to taking Finland out is you don't want to declare a double war because your game will crash and you will indeed corrupt every save file on your Hearts of Iron 4 desktop, so it could be pretty bad. Oh, I've only got 235,000 manpower. That's not really enough to conquer the world. I really wish there was some sort of peculiar mystery device that could increase my manpower with the use of... PECULIAR MODERN SCIENCE! Unfortunately, we're before the time when Sweden really stood behind the whole no means no thing Norway, so you're gonna have to get a bit of the old pickled herring after all! Ah, oh, boomboxes of war. In these times of war, we need a booming industry. Literal... Literally. Not literally. It's missing an L. Oh, Germany. Declaring on the Soviets and who gave you all that land, Hitler? Oh, sorry. Rudolf Mittler. Denmark refuses demands. Oh n n n n no! Thankfully, there's an app for that. Yeah, it's called War Crimes and Genocide. I feel like people aren't really learning that No's really not gonna stop me because I'm Sweden, but I'm neutral, so this is okay. But I did say I'm not neutral anymore. But they, I'm still neutral. In a way. Oh, Mr. Swollen, you're you're pretty damn thick, my friend. You're a wide boy, but you're, you're a bit too wide, and I feel like I could help you out, especially since you have this red line just running through your country. Oh, on second thoughts, I cancelled my justification, and you moved your troops off my border, then I, I'm i going to join the Axis. But I, I won't declare war on you, Mr. Swollen. That would be a real gamey mechanic if I did... If, if I did that, yeah, it'd be real fucking gamey for me to do anything like that, Mr. Swollen. I wouldn't swole you like that. Oh, do you look at that? France is in the war. No idea how France is in the war, because they're in another fucking faction. But France is in the war. Everything makes sense in these mods. You're just not learning, are you? Trucking to Moscow, walking to Berlin. Fermented fish down the gullet and straight out your ass two hours later. Rudolf Midler and the peculiar case of how the fuck are you gonna get over to Luxembourg? Oh. 
piece of piss. You know, I like to think this is what would happen if you gave Stevie Wonder a box of crayons and said, draw the fucking world. A peculiar set of events have afoot because now I'm at war with the Allies, but unfortunately I can't get to them without declaring war on a certain country. A certain country that's going to get me on a lot of news articles because I'm now an anti-Semite. Ah, oh, you know, just invading France with my child soldier army in 1941. Just, you know, hashtag Sweden things. Well, there's France dealt with. Now I just need to get naval supremacy over the channel and I can get over to Britain. Of course, it's very hard to get over Britain because they have such a big navy. But if you manage to do the right things at the start of the game, you'll manage to get across pretty easy by making some better battle cruisers or even a battle cruiser. Actually, you can, just walk a f you can just walk across the fucking channel. I don't know, I don't know when they implemented this change, but fuck, what the fuck, Paradox? Since when can you walk? There's no land between the cha- Come on, Paradox. Oh, peculiar. I, I don't think this game is worth it. It corrupted every single save file on my fucking system for this piece of shit. For this piece of shit! Oh boy, do you look at that. America's at war with fucking the Axis. I didn't even notice that. When the fuck did that? Oh. They're also apparently a puppet El Salvador. Okay. Yeah, sure. Why the fuck not? Oh, you know what, Japan, I should, I'll join this war, but I don't think I'm in any way, shape, or form just prepared for this. I, I haven't put all my children on the border with America. I didn't do that. Ah, El Salvador, you see, you wasn't supposed to puppet America. You were supposed to take all of their provinces. I think it's only fucking fitting that that treaty was called the Treaty of fucking Colon. Oh, it's not pronounced Colon. Shut up! This was terrible. This required... About six hours of my life, and it crashed multiple fucking times. I lost all my save files, and honestly, I'm not even entirely sure most of these were even mods. I'm pretty sure a lot of this was just in the fucking base game. In the base fucking game! So I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like, hit a subscribe, potentially win a free copy of The Hard Surviving 4 in the link in the description. And hey, you know what? Don't ever do this. Just don't!